assistance and our que- and our quest to see as many of the people of this world saved as possible. Mm. You say many of the beavers world saved. Many of the people saved. Okay, I heard beavers. <laughs> beavers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh no, those those poor beavers. <laughs> we don't care about the people. Oh. We only care about the beavers. <laughs> it's hurting you. <laughs> God. Ah. So you are the group that has that piece of ancient, like, technology, that flying castle that goes around and saves mortal, mortal creatures. Am I right? Yes, yes. indeed we are. Then I'm, and he, like, slightly bows the eye, applaud for your efforts. They are honorable and good deeds. Uh, yet, to answer your question, can I perhaps ask another in return, like, what do you truly want from me, from us? Uh, do you perhaps think that I, along with, and then he, like, gives a look at the flock gathered in the cave around him, around you, uh, that we move out, go out there, and try to save as many as possible. Yes. While the whole flock might be asking a bit too much, we merely ask for any help that you can give us. Yes. The aid in the form of another dragon, such as either myself or perhaps mm. if they even exist more powerful than myself, each mm. other. Yeah, and, and you clearly see that, as you said, like another dragon, one dragon, like he starts, where, like, he follows his bros, even though he might not, br- not have bros or something. His dragon bro. Mm. Uh, yeah, I have a problem with describing, like, facial, facial expression of the dragons. Yeah. Like, if I say bro or something, like, imagine the dragon equivalent of that expression. Mm-hmm. So, like, he's heavily thinking. I think I, I might think very help good. you with that. Yes, yes, yes. And he like he thinks so. yes, it might be possible. Just so you know, I I feel I need to explain myself that I can assure you, especially you, as dragon brethren, even though we are not of the same dragon type, you are still a dragon. We share, maybe not the same light, but we have we share the connection of the dragon kin. Uh, when the time comes, I will gladly go out there with my brothers and sisters, with my flock, to defend this island, protect it from destruction, save its people. But we might we have to do it only when the time arrives. You must know that. The movement of the world, the, the fate, how it works. That if we, especially if I, decide to go out there right now, then I will just quicken the entire end of the world thing. The other dragons will fully awake. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, these days uh, as an old dragon I'm... I can't be mistaken. Maybe you should be saying, I've seen this so many times that sometimes I forget which dragon it is. Yeah, mm. Maybe something like that. Uh, that for now you still need time, so acting now would just be more be more hurtful to your, uh, to your work than helpful. I and yet, and yet there are evil dragons out there unleashing hell upon people there. Why are you, why are why are they out if you not? Where exactly? Hmm? I mean, where exactly? Because up in the north, we yeah. fought two dragons. Were they ended were the they, life of one of our compatriots? Were they the elder ones? One was. Actually, I wasn't there, so I can say, but we no, do know no, that no, one. You, those who were there, you remember that these guys were not the true immortal elder dragon. They the were just like a. 
they were just like uh, lieutenants to, yeah. to the main still, they guy still that they wanted to start in and of awake. Mm -hmm. So, that, I have at least two more questions for you. If you do not mind us. Yes, uh, perhaps do you want to hear my answer about potential help or we will do that later after your questions? <laughs> Lem uh, why don't you talk first? I'll see whether my questions have been answered after your explanation. Yes, I think... I think... There might be one young dragon. Uh, just, you know, like... Young from his perspective, every dragon is younger or young, less know. young. <laughs> uh, that... I might be able to, like... Maybe not land, but... He might be willing to help you, and I might be willing to send him out so that he might be able to prove his worth. You must know that he's uh, he's a dragon, good one, good, good kid, <laughs> good, <laughs> good, good youngling. Uh, but sometimes his eagerness and eager, like, will to prove his worth might put him in trouble. Uh, I feel, as you spoke with the duel, uh, he didn't get a chance to, like, do something like that. If you win with him, I feel that you will earn his... You, you and you catch that out that he speaks only to Jai about that, that you personally will. You will earn his respect and he will be willing to follow you and help with whatever you are doing in the world saving people stopping evil giant ops well that's one question answered thank you so will you are you willing to throw down a mantle for him like challenge him. Do it. Of course. Do it. <laughs> of course. Very Dragon well then. fight. Dragon fight. I will. I will. Uh, one of my flock will give information <coughs> to him, and I believe we can arrange the duel. I believe it will be best for you as quick to do that as quickly as possible. Now, for the other question, I'm listening. The other question... My god, I'm horrible. I totally forgot my other question. I, it's on the tip of my tongue. God damn it. Mm. It was about... Was it about specific topic? Like, more about the dragons, or...? Yeah, it was... God dang it. Um... Okay, I ha I'm having a total brain fart. Just Jai's just standing there like an idiot because I totally forgot my question. Hmm. Well then, no worries there, young one, Jai. I believe maybe during the fight or after it, your mind will be like fresh enough to remember it. Maybe. And he looks at Oti. Young Dwarf, maybe there are some questions from you. I get the feeling Aoti's questions and answers are all at the point of her gun. <laughs> like, she doesn't serious? say that. <laughs> Answers, <laughs> motherfucker. Do you have them? <laughs> <laughs> Does he look like a bitch? <laughs> what? <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Julius, have you fallen asleep? Your mic is muted. Leave that. Away from the. Oh. I was e I was eating some of my mine. No, was nothing special. Uh -huh. To be honest, like, not nothing really in character I can really think of. Oh, okay. Like. Uh, okay. So, well then. If there is nothing, I shall fetch for. And now I need to think of another fucking dragon name. 
Um, let me see. Or if you have any. Galbraith the second. <coughs> nah, he's not his son. Sin Wraith. Oh, okay. Wraith. Okay. Maybe not Sin Wraith like. Uh. Hmm. Uh, what's his um, elemental type? If that could. That might help. I mean, he's still a uh, golden dragon, so. Oh yeah. Um, so... Well, in that case, start it with AU, like the for the, um, for the chemical symbol. So uh, you've, we've already had a Augustus, but you know, like um. Organon. Augustulus or something, or um, I just think that I, I, you know, the the chemical symbol might be. The chemical symbol for what? Oh, gold. Gold is a. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I just remembered. Oh, uh, it's. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna good, fetch yeah. all with. Uh, like, the entire travel, you realize that it took some time, so not right now it's getting like evening into the night. Uh, Jai, like Ye. the gay. What? I need to write down his fucking name. Galbraith asks you. When do you want to make the duel? When my opponent is ready. I am always ready. So, uh, as per standard rules of the honorable duel, if you want your opponent to ch choose the time, uh, you choose the place. Can I get shoes as the weapons? <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Um, weapons. Just everyone of, fights with swords, just out but of we character. have claws! <laughs> just out of character. I used guns. <laughs> uh, Jai would know just straight up that, for example, there are two places that he can fight with him. Either like in the pit, uh, sort of like a pit cave, which is like a more of a ground standing fight. Or pff, you can have battle in the skies. Ooh. Oh, I'm not like part of this conversation. I, I yeah, know. because sky is uh, like above the ground is also a place of the fight. Maybe in the skies above the peak of the dragon's mountain. That's kind of more spectacular for the people, to be fair. <laughs> for the dra I mean, it's so fucking huge that. Oh, okay. Arena, it is. Okay. Uh, give me one sec while I well, actually go. I'm, I'm grab glad something. you didn't choose. I'm glad you rolled that and, and it didn't end up choosing the um, sky because dra <laughs> dra dragons have a... Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> Alvif is 20 level gunslinger! <laughs> he oh, pulls dear. out... Normally in hands of the men it will be a pistol, but in his hands is a fucking handgun. Yeah, like, no, no. He, just, he grabs out two <laughs> automatic ballistas he and just starts firing. Carry. <laughs> Give me one sec to grab something to drink and go to the toilet. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, so you know what? Um, unless... Aoti, if you really don't want to do anything, then... Like, I don't really know what to do. Since I'm all hot, all I'm doing is making snarky comments and being lazy. Yeah. But that's alright, snarky comments, fine. Uh, like... If you ask, the new character might have learned that there are some like dwarven settlements underground, Ooh. like iron. I don't, I you don't could be checking to... the architecture. Sorry, what? Dwarves love underground things. They could be checking the architecture, couldn't? You? Yeah. Yeah. Let's look for secret rooms and steal their shit. Mm, no. No. I yeah, mean, I think. think... That's the question for your character. Like, I think you are like, honest, I think you are honorable, so you won't steal from your brethren. No, no. I'm not. No, I'm not a thief. Thief. But mm -hmm. I, I may, I maybe, maybe I'll kill them and steal their stuff, but I'm not gonna just take it like that. I'm honorable, you know. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so you know what? So, so for the. So that the downtime will be done long, let's switch for a moment to Lysander and Ninkiro, who, as we see them, as camera pans in into the forest. No, we, 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 yeah, wait up. Before, before we go, I yeah. want to have a discussion with Ninkiro. Ah, okay. Yep. Sorry. Right. Uh, okay. Obviously, I'm going to cast a whole bunch of spells as my protection for paranoia. I know it's elves, but you know. Yeah. Is the war going on? I have on, a bunch but... for you. 
Um, just you don't need to write down the list because LS no, I, 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 I won't. Like I'm just explaining some things. Cool. Because and there's a reason for protection. By the way, I'm giving you some, so we'll make you fly and pass without traits mm -hmm. and protection from evil, yeah. all that stuff. And protection from arrows as well. I'm casting on you because yeah. elves are very yeah. keen on their bows. But here's something that. I want you to tell me about how you're going to approach this dis diplomacy because I have a problem which hasn't really come up before. Okay, we're going to visit wood elves. Now, and wood you're elves a high are elf? No, I'm a dusk elf. I kind of look like a drow, but with dark hair. Oh, okay. And... <laughs> Even though, and I know I've taken the mantle of lantern bearer, but it's a secretive society, so I can't even use that as currency. Um, I, I do fear that they might be a bit suspicious of me. Obviously, they won't be able to do anything, because I think I'm going to go into sonic form immediately, but then I'll just look like a ghost drow, which might not help not the best idea <laughs> so I want you to be very clear on how to do this d diplomacy I'm going to um, unfortunately I haven't been to the shop if I if I had managed to get some spells I'd change yeah, my appearance to look a bit more wood elfy I mean, I'm pretty sure in Dragonheart and, uh, or something if, you would be able to find. And, and, they, and uh, also, also, the other thing is that bear in mind that these are wood elves, and I grew up in the city. I yeah, I, know I have a very different accent, and you know, it's going to be difficult. They're, they're they're my people, but they might still have some sort of. I know it sounds hard to believe from an elf, but they might even have some racism towards me. <laughs> <laughs> says the, the says the elf lover. A racist <laughs> being subjected to racist. Uh, <laughs> I so love elf who's been racist to every other race that's ever. <laughs> I love the irony of that. <laughs> yes, it's not something I've discussed before for obvious reasons. But but weren't you going on how uh, elves are the most? Uh, Supreme race. Yes, I'm an elf. Supreme even to other elves. Yeah, but I'm an elf. That's the point. <laughs> um, anyway, so all I'm saying is that they might not be immediately welcoming. However, we'll be fine. So, shall we teleport? They might be racist and we might die, but we'll be fine. <laughs> nah, nah, they'll be fine. They, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Okay. Uh, right. They have go. done nothing wrong to the elves. Abracadabra, teleport. <laughs> okay, so... <clears throat> as if this was a TV show, as camera changes and pans in... Into the, into the uh, very thick green... Uh, with this like uh, smell of nature in the air, uh, we see as Lysander and Genkiro appear in the Ember Forest, probably either very close or in the sort of a city itself, Isena. Uh, like just just out of curiosity, uh, does any one of you was there in the past? No, I've literally never been, unfortunately. But, I mean, greater teleport means I won't have a problem with getting... Uh... I'm not, it's more of a, like, a storytelling thing. Plot no, thing. sadly, no. Uh, not me. Okay, so yeah, this is both of, for, for both of you, this is the first time. And yeah, obviously you can imagine that the city is, like, has ground level, but you can see that the uh, vines, uh, very fancy, nice-looking uh, plants, and wooden houses are like just going up like the city village is like 
uh, vertical, like there's like a lot of levers in the ground, like there are elves living like high up in the trees. Uh, but apart from like it just takes like a several seconds apart from like a strong smell of uh, nature maybe like because both of you have some spellcasting ability so mm -hmm. apart from nature you can like feel that special quality of the air that just th that there's like a gentle flow of uh, green nature magic flowing through this place sure. Uh, but apart from that, uh, at some point just your head snaps towards the south, because even on ground level, uh, or maybe as you're getting higher and higher, that you see that to the south, like, there, there comes, like, for now faint, smell of burning, of fires and smoke.